Well, WEF 2018 kicks off in Davos today and it's a special World Economic Forum. And from Bloomberg Quinn, we have Menika Doshi in Davos and it's a special one. Menika, this year around, it's, it's bound to be a special one considering the illustri illustrious list of people actually joining. And of course, both Prime Minister Modi and President Donald Trump will be in Davos as well. What's the mood like in Davos? Well, guys, it's turning out to be a Davos of many firsts this year. I haven't seen so much snow in a really long time, in almost the 10, 12 years that I've been attending the World Economic Forum's annual meeting. Uh, it's been snowing incessantly since the time we got here, uh, and it's coming down like nothing else. It's also the first time in 20 years that an Indian prime minister is attending the WEF's annual meeting, the first time in some 18 years that an American president is attending uh, you know, the WEF's annual meeting, and the first time ever that Davos is all seven co-chairs are women leaders. Now, I'm sure there are many more firsts, but the snow is freezing my brain and there isn't anything else I can remember at this point in time. Well, it's not so cold out here in Bombay, but the weather notwithstanding, Davos is filled with global leaders and businessmen at this time of year. What's the agenda like this time around? It is going to be a very, very busy week. Uh, Tuesday, the annual meeting kicks off with Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, addressing the opening plenary. And he will talk about the theme that the PMO's office has been uh, pushing here through its social media as well. India means business. So it is going to be about invest in India. Thereafter, on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to hear from other global leaders. For instance, Emmanuel Macron of France, Justin Trudeau of Canada. Canada, Angela Merkel of Germany and Theresa May of Britain are also going to be here in Davos in those four days. And then we're going to hear, hopefully, from President Donald Trump. So it's going to be one big leader every single day of this week. We're going to hear competing ideologies. We're going to hear, uh, you know, India, invest in India versus America first. Uh, of course, Britain has a Britain first as well in some ways. And all of them are here to court investors to their countries. What what will be interesting to know is if all of these leaders, whilst making pitches for investment in their own countries, are able to talk a common language on issues that confront the world today. For instance, we've seen the failure in global leadership in being able to address the issues of environment. Uh, you know, we've seen a, a, a screaming sense of nationalism and the backtracking on several trade treaties. Uh, so it will be meaningful to know by the end of this week if the plethora of leaders that we have attending Davos this year will all end up speaking, hopefully, a common shared language when it comes to these important issues that the world is facing. And obviously, Manika, you're going to be there all week and I'm sure you've lined up a host of interviews and conversations like every year. What can the viewers of Bloomberg Quinn expect this time around? All right, we've got lots lined up for you uh, from Davos. I think, uh, you know, starting with, of course, the conversation with the Tata Group chairman and Chandrasekharan, and then through the course of this evening and tomorrow, you will hear from India leaders. Of course, we'll get their reactions to Prime Minister Modi's speech tomorrow, and then a whole host of global business leaders, economists, uh, and some very interesting takes on science. We're talking uh, to people who are leaders in the space of artificial intelligence, drone technology. So you're going to get many different facets of the Davos Dialogue right there on Bloomberg Quint.